So I logged onto the server today, and I looked over. I, I was over here getting some food. I saw a drowned temple, and I thought we should uh, check it out. Oh, this is literally nothing. Is there no chest or anything? Oh, there's a chest. Okay, let's see what we got inside. Wheat. A treasure map. So. Oh, oh wow. Oh wow, that's close. Now let's go ahead and go do this. So it should be right about here. Well, that helps. Is it down here? Oh, dude! There's an amethyst geode! Underwater! Oh, heck yeah! Forget about the treasure! We got amethyst! Here's... The, either the cave obstructed it... Or I'm just stupid and can't find it. Both are very viable. So for now, I'm gonna leave the treasure map to another day. And we're gonna go back to base. Oh my gosh, I got a trident! I know they are as rare in this version because I've played Bedrock before, but I got a trident, that's so cool. Alright, well, so we're gonna head back to base. And we're gonna finish, try and finish my AFK farms. I do need to get a little bit more gold, though. So, uh, let's head back there. Looks like our farm is actually working. It appears this has been mined out again. I don't know who's causing all this anarchy, but Knight's base was blown up. He fixed it. And this is some of his stuff was stolen, so I don't know what's going on. It appears that I have unlocked another salmon head. I don't know how. Well, I mean, I do know how. I don't know why it's giving me so many heads. But at this point, does it really matter? I mean, look at this. Do I need a reason to have these? Okay, here's the thing about the farms. I have four gold. This is all I have. I need two more to get them both done. And I think I'm just going to go into the nether. Because there is nether gold. And I could start the netherite tunnel. Which I'm probably going to. Because... Or I could just try and run around and find some gold. Hopefully there is a nether waste nearby. Return to sender, let's go. I don't think I've gotten that achievement on here yet. I might die. I don't have, I don't, I, I have no armor. I need to get, I, okay. Before I do this, I need to get some iron armor. At the very least, I'm getting harassed. I'm not even I'm not even getting killed. I'm getting harassed. There we go. I'm gonna kill you guys. Oh, oh, they broke my gold. How dare they? Alright, with this nether spawn, I really cannot do anything. Like, this is stupid. Like, I just got launched ten feet in the air by a gas. Oh, what's this? Uh, nothing good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to go back to the portal. Hopefully. Oh. Oh, that would be so sick. You double whammy. I'm going to go back to the portal. And I'm going to go this way. I'm going to mine. 
which is going to be the start of our little nether highway. Or not nether highway, nether hub. I found nether gold, yes! Oh, please don't be like a one vein. Okay, two. I need three more nuggets of gold. I appear to be running out of food. And I have not found any gold. Because that's a little bit of fun. This is stupid. <gasps> gold! Yes! This is about to leave. Definitely enough. Okay. We can get these farms up and running. It appears that I have. O <laughs> it appears that I have overstayed my welcome. I need to get out of here. And if I don't, I will die. And it appears I may have lost my strip mine. I'm out of food. I am hungry. This is painful. Where did, I, where did my strip mine go? How did I not think I would lose it? Can I eat anything I don't have on me? <gasps> I have food! Alright. Quick. Or. Doesn't really matter right now. I can figure out how much I want to make this soon. <sighs> that was close. Alright. I can survive a lot longer down here the discovery of food. Hey, night's on. There you are! Alright. We are making our way home. I just got a cow head! Neat! Oh, wait. In honor of all the cows that are gonna die to this enchanting table. Have another salmon head. Here, ha have the salmon head. What? what? Someone stole my bookshelf! <laughs> ah, okay, so the, a creeper exploded it. So, now that we've got the gold to do the farms, we can... Here, let's, let's, let's make the stuff I need. Uh, is this the recipe? No, you need sticks too, don't you? I haven't made this recipe in ages, dude. Without recipe book, at least. I know we have recipe book, but I wanna... There we go. I figured it out. All right, we are putting the finishing touches on to the collection system. We now have a fully functioning, working AFK sugarcane farm. And now we can finally close this stupid thing up. Where's my glass? I should have some. I need four pieces. Where's my glass? Of course. Okay. Well, Good thing we got all that sand from that treasure. <laughs> the treasure was the sand, nothing else. If we do find that treasure, we could get a conduit. His name. Okay, so we're gonna do the collection system for this one. Which... Should be... Simple... Er... Well, this is gonna go on... We're gonna have to move the family funhouse. But, so, we're gonna have five of these, so it's one, two, then, three, four, and then five. So, the collection system is gonna be neat, gonna need... So this collection system is gonna can, can, can I do my video anyways so the collection system is gonna be need, need to be one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen fifteen okay 
So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Okay. So for this with the power rails, we're gonna need redstone torches under here because otherwise it's gonna activate the pistons above and I've already broken my pickaxe again. Oh hey, a water range raider, okay. Let's see what let's see what mini blocks we have. Lapis lazuli, brown stained glass, packed ice. These are actually not bad. But you are a wandering trader. I just got a llama head. Let's go. And another watering trader head. All right. Let's let's just where should we put this wandering trader head? Hmm. You know, I'm gonna put it in the graveyard. We we are gonna make a graveyard eventually, just full of every single mob head in the entire game. There we go. So th that's the start of the graveyard. Uh, do I have a sign? Yes, I do. Here we go. And the graveyard. It has begun. Between clips, this farm is constantly growing, by the way. I'm constantly harvesting it and then replanting and then planting more. It's, it's constantly growing. I'm gonna need to make it industrial soon. Dude, this pumpkin farm is actually producing, and I haven't even gotten the collection system up yet. Alright, let's put the rails in. So, we got... I do not have enough rails for this, do I? No, I do not. Let's get our, uh... Let's get our power ones in. I think for now, at least, before we get more iron, I can do this. So we can actually have a collection system, but until we get, until we get more, this is what it's going to be like. And I do not have enough iron for a hopper, another hopper minecart. So that's what it's going to be like for now. And I need to smelt some glass. You know what? Let's ask Knight here. Let's ask Knight. Okay, 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 it's fine, it's fine. Uh, so, here we go. What the heck has he been doing off camera, or uh, when I've been off? Oh my gosh, he's gotten a bunch of iron. Compared to me, at least. I've been trying to grow my AFK empire. <laughs> Alright, so let's, let's make the minecart. Then let's make the chest. Now let's make the hopper out of the chest. We got a hopper minecart. Now I would make the chest for the collection system, but I'm not that far yet. So this is what we're rolling with. And I need to make this more nice and neat, to be honest. I, every world I've been in, this is what it's looked like. But I need to make it more nice and neat. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna need some oak logs, which I should have, or oak wood. Uh, let me make a couple sets of stairs. And this, at least the outside, is gonna look like this. Just having a little wood outline. Um, okay, you know what? I'm gonna push this back one. I hope that doesn't interfere with the enchanting table look. Yeah, that's okay, that's okay. And I'm just gonna quickly make this look a little better. 
All right, so with this farm, for now, we're just gonna have to put stairs in, and that's all we can ha kinda have. I mean, I guess what we could do is this, just cause we have extra, there we go. So, now the plan is, since we got the collection systems put up, what I want to do now is I need to get, uh, I, we need to get the enchanting table at full so we can start getting diamonds with fortune, which is going to be a massive upgrade from what we have now, which is just pickaxes. So we do have the we do have the sugar king farm, and we do have. I'm just gonna check if we that we have no glass because, okay, because the, the 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 texture is really hard to see. So what we're gonna do? Did I never put the? I did. Why do I have an extra stack? Of, where did I get an extra stack of sand? I don't know. Anyways, what we need to do now? We need to get. We have we have some leather. And some sugar cane. Which I don't know where I put. There we go. There's our sugar cane. So if we make this all in paper. And we do this. We have now four books. Which we can make in. To at least one enchant table. And we can replace the one that broke. Um. Yeah. So now. We need to breed these cows up more and get more cows. Oh, come on, one more. There we go. And now I'm going to brutally murder some of these cows. There we go. Three. Uh, I would like to actually have two more. All right. So now we can get two more bookshelves. If we have enough paper, which we do exactly enough. Let's go, gamers. We got two more bookshelves. And now we have an upgraded enchant. So that means we're just better now. What the heck happened here? Can you change it? Okay, so one of my goals, uh, for the season, if in the last episode I said that I wanted to get a pet axolotl, and that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get a pet, a pet axolotl because I, I I just like the axolotls. But first, to get the packs pet axolotl, I need an actual base, and that's what we're going to build. We are going to build a base <laughs> now. I'm not sure what design I want to go with. What kind of thing I want. There's... Hmm. I haven't really thought about my base yet because I've just been working on agriculture, cultural, uh, agricultural stuff. Besides the industrial farm, which I don't know why I haven't started yet. But... We do need one. It needs to be functional. And I'm going to do the most stupid thing the most lazy thing of all time. And I'm going to build an underground base. But I have an interesting design for it. And I hope it works out. So, I'm going to go ahead and enchant my pickaxe. Hopefully I get efficiency. And we're going to see how long this stupid thing is going to take.
All right, so the base is not done at all. It's not even close. But I'm at to a point. I'm at to a point where it can be used. So here it is. This is the start of the base. This took me however long it took me. I don't know. This took me like an hour, I think. I'm not sure. It took me a while. And this, this is gonna be our main design here. It's gonna, it's not gonna be a circle. We're gonna have, it's gonna be like an oval-like thing. We're gonna have, um, so this, this is gonna be a quite a few blocks down, and then we're just gonna have it come full circle. Then on one of the, on one of these sides, we're gonna have an aquarium for the axolotl. So we're gonna like mine into here, make a little aquarium, make it look nice maybe get maybe get a dolphin is that possible I doubt it is but yeah this is this is this is what we have right now and uh, I went through three pickaxes so it, it probably wasn't even close to an hour let me check real quick it may have been like 30 minutes anyways I'm gonna quickly put in the floor and the roof and then we're gonna move on to something else all right so I've got as much of the ceiling and the floor in as I possibly can and it's already looking ten times better than it did now, what I want to do right now is get this, get two ele uh, water elevators up, so I can have the magma and so I can have magma and uh, and soul sand going, so I can go up and down pretty fast. So, what we need for this, it's actually quite simple. I need to get, or I need to. Do some things, hold on. I need to think. What I need, I need some seaweed, obviously, for the thing. And I also need <coughs> to get my hands on the soul sands and magic blocks, which I think I already have. I know for a fact I have soul sand, but I am, and I also know for a fact I have magic blocks, so I just need to get some seaweed and I can get this thing done. The first one we're going to do is the magma block. So what I need is to grab you and go and grab some seaweed. Which shouldn't be too difficult. They're right over here. Alright, now that we have collected ourselves a bit of seagrass, which should be enough because it's a small thing, we can go ahead. Did I just call it seagrass? Okay. Now that we've got enough seaweed, we can go ahead and start making these water elevators. Alright. Here is the first one. And what I'm actually going to can you put kelp on magma? No you cannot. Okay. What I'm actually going to do before I actually have this let's do a trick here. Okay, now it's a source block. So now, I can take the water and it should work perfectly still. Okay, so now I need to make the soul sand one, which requires another door, which I do not have on me. So now I have an entry, or an exit, and an, uh, and an entrance. I do need to get this all looking nice. So, let me go ahead and get some more stone. And I can probably finish the roof off. I am not sure. But, let's do this. Alright, now that we got that done, we can start moving our operations down here. Now, I don't really know what I want to do with the chests. I think I might want to have a separate area for them, but I'm not sure yet. Actually, what I could do is I could have like a little staircase down here. And I could have like a little room just for chests. That would be nice. Or what I could do with this other end, I could have a row of chests going. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have the row of chests going on the other end. Chests going on the other end. But since we only have three chests, it's this is gonna work for now. Yeah, this this is definitely gonna be. Alright. Alright, so we got the start of the sword system. And I'm going to move the items off camera and I'm gonna give them 
item frames eventually once we get the enchanting cable done. But guys, that's all I have for this episode. I hope you all enjoyed, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye.